Welcome to Code Effectively. The topic for today is we have to print the sky value of each character of the given string. This is a very easy program, but still we are doing this so that you have a core understanding of your string. So basically, like for example, I have already written A has the sky value, capital A has the sky value 65, capital B has the sky value following it, that is 66. In the similar way, you must know the sky value of 97 and the sky value of a sky value of small b that is 99 you must know these values okay so now let me just give you a quick brief that 65 okay a capital a starts from 65 okay and now capital z now will it will end at 90 okay why because you will when you will add 25 letters to it it will give you 90 because a has been already given a value so remaining 25 letters you have to just give them a value in the similar way small a sky value starts from 97 and it goes up to 25 we will add so it will give us this is 22 and it will be 122 this means small z value will be 122 okay so these are the things that we have to do it's a very simple three line program but you must know what we will do we will write a for loop and within that for loop i will start my i from zero till let's say i is less than equal to let's say i is less than equal less than l minus one okay let's say l less than equals to if you want to do you can do it till l minus one or what you can do is i is less than equals to s dot length it's up to you what you want to take let's take less than less than s dot length that is the length of the string and i plus plus now what i will do i will take the each character in care ch and s dot caret i and i will extract the character from ch and i will just simply display sop and let's say i will display the character first with the space and after that i will display its integer value that is its sky value so what i will do before writing this character again i will put a int before it this will mean i am doing an explicit conversion explicit conversion means the conversion that is done by the user forcefully okay forced by the users it is done by force because the computer will normally print the ch that is a character but no i don't want the character i want it's a sky value so i wrote int before the character intentionally so when you do something intentionally or when you convert something intentionally it is known as an explicit conversion in java or in any other language okay so now let's run a program and let's say my input is simple capital a b c this is my string so my string is capital a b c and my numbering will go from i 0 to less than l so it will be less than 3 because the length is 3 let me give the name 0 1 2 3 these are the positions or you can say the indexing first the value of i will be 1 when the value of i will be 1 0 sorry the i starts from 0 because it is a string i will be 0 it will extract s dot caret i it means you have to go and ex extract the character at 0th position from the string s and what is my string s my string s is a my string s is a b c so i will go and extract the character at 0th position what is it a so a will be stored in ch and now it will counter this loop system dot out dot print ch first we will print a and then what we will print okay we let's say print ln here so we will get in the other line so it will be int ch so what is the sky value of a we know it's 65 it will print 65 here in the similar way now i value will be 1 when i value will be 1 it will go and check s dot caret 1 go and get me the character at one position so it will be now b so now we we will go inside the again sopln it will be sopln c what is the value of c it will be b plus int of c what is the sky value of b it is 66 66 will be printed again i value will be now 2 okay it will be 2 it will extract the character again at the 2th position it will be now c so it will print c and the sky value that is 67 so 67 will be printed this is a very simple and a basic example of your string programming you must know this program okay and now the value of i will be 3 our condition will be getting false because 3 is less than 3 the condition is false because 3 is equals to 3 and as soon as the condition falls the you will get this output so this is an important program in your output perspective 
because you can get some output related questions output prediction questions from this type of the program so you must know these type of the programs hope you like this video and if you like this video kindly go and subscribe to the channel and press the like button thank you for watching